What comes to mind when you hear tough gaming? For us, it's value-oriented machines that offer high-performance notebooks for pure gaming. The new ASUS Tough Gaming A15 FA507 might as well be one of the gaming notebooks with the best price-to-quality ratio, offering high TGP GPUs, up to a 140-watt RTX 3070, and all the features you need for non-stop gaming. The militaristic aesthetic continues, with ASUS finding a way to make it sleek and modern. There are two design options to choose from. We chose the Mecha Grey variant with a metal lid and a tough logo in the middle of it. The build quality is good and that is proven by the A10H military certificate for resistance to shock, vibration and other environmental extremes. The base has four status LEDs which are styled to resemble a crosshair. The chassis is smaller than the previous generation but without sacrificing the full-sized keyboard. It even includes a numpad. The keys have long key travel, clicky feedback, a backlight and transparent WASD keys. The touchpad is 26% larger when compared to its predecessor while also being responsive and accurate. The ports are located on the sides with two full-sized and two Type-C USB ports, LAN port, audio jack and an HDMI 2.0B supporting external HDR displays with 4K resolution and 60Hz refresh rate. The internal screen comes in three flavors, 144 or 300 Hz Full HD or 165 Hz QHD. We went for the most affordable option, which isn't suitable for design work due to its low sRGB coverage, but it's a nice choice if you want to save some bucks. It has good brightness and contrast ratio, and most importantly, it doesn't use PWM, so it's safe for your eyes in that aspect. The 300 Hz panel covers 100% of the sRGB color gamut, while the QHD one meets even the ultra-wide DCI-P3 standard. Battery life is often put on the back burner when making gaming notebooks, but here we have a pretty big 90 watt hour battery pack. It can run the machine for a record setting 14 hours and 10 minutes of web browsing, or 10 hours and 50 minutes of video playback. This is an exceptional result. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The Ryzen 6000H CPU series offers incremental performance and improvement over the 5000H series. But what we're more excited about is the presence of a MUX switch that can increase performance by disabling the integrated GPU and outputting the signal directly through the 140 watt RTX 3070. By the way, this is almost 50% higher TGP compared to its predecessor, and it totally demolishes games at 1080p. For example, you can play Shadow of the Tomb Raider with almost 100 FPS on the highest settings. Tough Gaming A15 scores higher than most rivaling laptops, including ones that use an RTX 3070 Ti. The cooling system is the prime suspect for this, so let's turn the notebook off and check it out. The bottom panel has plenty of vents and cutouts, which is a big plus when it comes to cooling. Removing it reveals five copper heat pipes, four of which are dedicated to the CPU and the GPU. The last one covers the VRM modules and GPU memory. The Ryzen 7 6800H is kept at a steady and relatively high 3.7 GHz clock speed, while maxing out at 87 degrees Celsius, which is fine. As for the GPU, this is the highest clocked RTX 3070 that we've tested so far breaking the 1700 MHz mark while maintaining the 140 watt TGP and a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius in the long run. The upgrade options are hidden by an insulation cover. Behind it, you'll find two RAM slots that fit 4.8 GHz DDR4 sticks, along with two M.2 slots for super-fast Gen 4 SSD drives. You can check out our teardown video for a more detailed tour of the inside. Although the Tough Gaming A15 FA507 is positioned in the mid-range sector of the ASUS portfolio, it feels like a high-end machine. Not only that, it performs as a high-end machine too, thanks to the high TGP GPUs, the MUX switch, and the well-engineered cooling system.
Although it's 144 Hz, the display panel isn't as fast as we'd like it to be and produces kind of washed out colors. But there are two more display options in case this one isn't good enough for you. Nevertheless, we award this computer with Laptop Media's Editor's Choice Medal because it's a great offer as an overall package. As we already said, it has all the features you need for non-stop gaming. Of course, we've done a lot more tests and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.